Hey guys, welcome back. If you are not new to my channel, you are most likely clicking on this video because you are an incoming college freshman and you're most likely considering coming to SJSU. In this video, I'm basically going to give a little bit of a rundown on my experience at San Jose State so far, give some pros and cons of going to school here, and just telling you guys the things that I wish I had known before I committed to SJSU. I'm not necessarily saying that these things that I'm about to mention in the video would have been a deal breaker for me and if I had known them before then I would have picked another school because I probably wouldn't have honestly but I'm a couple weeks away from finishing my second year so I'm already halfway through my college experience here and I've actually been waiting a long time to make this kind of recap video of the halfway point because I think it can be really helpful. So basically, I'm just going to be telling you guys all the things that I wish that I had known before coming to school here. And each kind of section that I'm going to touch on has different pros and cons. So it's going to be a lot of information and I think that it'd be really helpful if you're considering coming here to know these things. Without further ado, let's just get into it. I do want to give you guys some information about me in case you've never seen any of my videos before. So I am a sophomore or a second year in college. I am an advertising major concentrating in management and I have a digital media minor. I currently live on campus in one of the dorm buildings, but my home is only 45 minutes away. So I'm very close and I go home quite a bit actually and yeah I'll talk a little bit more about me as the video goes on but those are just some basic things to keep in mind first I just want to talk about living on campus and my experience with that some of you may know but I went to a boarding school for high school which was out of state actually across the country I kind of say to myself that I did the college experience early because I got that opportunity to be away from my parents and have that freedom of being on my own. That aspect of college where kind of kids get like their first taste of freedom, I experienced that much earlier than a lot of the people that I know experience that because they normally get that here in college. Last year I lived on campus for the fall and then I went home in the spring because COVID last year was not it. At least this year way more people are out doing things some of the restrictions have lifted but last year you couldn't go to the gym you could barely hang out in groups outside like it was not worth it and i've just found it so boring to live on campus i think that the buildings could like interact more unless you go out of your way and like knock on your neighbor's doors you're probably not going to interact much with the people in your building so it's going to be hard to make friends on campus unless you take the initiative, which I'll get into later with the whole social scene because that's a whole thing in itself. Another thing I wanna to touch on really quick about living on campus is if you have a meal plan, the dining options are very limited here. And this, this is my first con on the list. If you plan to eat here every single day of the week, and the weekends even, the dining commons will be your main source of food. Not to say that the food isn't good, but it gets so boring so quickly. There are not that many options. It's like pretty much five options. If you eat that every day, you're gonna get bored of it. With your meal plan, you do get a certain amount of dining dollars, and that goes towards either the village market, which has like snacks, and then in the student union, we do have other dining options like Subway, Panda Express, uh, Starbucks, Jamba Juice. I would just say that be prepared that there are not a lot of options. In my dorm building, which is available for sophomores, juniors, and seniors, you have a full kitchen and you can cook for yourself. You have the option to get a meal plan. And normally that is the easiest option for freshmen, but I would just keep that in mind that you probably won't want to do a meal plan all four years because you won't be getting that many different and exciting options to eat. The next thing I want to talk about is the fact that SJSU is a big commuter school. And this is something you can definitely find out by doing your research. It's out there, but you don't really realize how much of a commuter school it is until you are here. I will walk out of my building and I will see the same 30 people every single day, which is crazy because we're a huge school. There's like 30,000 kids that go here. But yeah, that is the one thing that you do not realize until you are here. I know there are a lot of commuter struggles like parking. We don't have a lot of parking availability for commuters if you're considering that. Also, 
places in the student union really fill up quickly in the mornings and throughout the day during the week because so many commuters are planning to stay for the day for all their classes and they usually hang out in the student union and do homework. But yeah, those are just some things that I would keep in mind if you are planning to commute, but I personally don't have a lot of information on that, so I will just say that I wish I had known that it was such a commuter school before coming here because that's part of the reason that the social scene lacks so much here, which is the next topic that I will get into. So like I said, SJSU is a huge school, but more than half of the population is not here 24 seven. So for that reason, the social scene is pretty much non-existent. If you're not in a frat or a sorority, then you're probably not gonna party that much. That was definitely something that I wanted to know because I had the idea that SJSU was kind of spirited, but most of the pictures that show SJSU being really into school spirit is mostly just homecoming week and like football games, but there's only so long in the football season. Something that I would definitely say when thinking about coming here is knowing that you will have to go out of your way to make friends. I would say majority of the people that I met this year are from different things that I have involved myself in since the beginning of last semester. I'll just explain a little bit about what I do personally to give you guys some insight on the different things that I've joined to meet people. First of all, this past year I've worked an on-campus job at the Spartan Bookstore, so a lot of my friends are actually my co-workers and I will see them all around campus and I'll always say hi to them and talk to them and one of them actually moved down the hall in my building so now we're neighbors. I don't know why but my camera just stopped recording, hello? I have a coffee break. So working at the Spartan Bookstore was the first thing that I really did to involve myself because I needed an on-campus job. I have to work throughout the year, otherwise I will not be able to support myself. I'm actually going to be cutting back on my hours now because I have a new internship that is paid and is still on campus, so I will probably be meeting more people through that as well. Then, some other things that I have done. Last semester, I was on the women's club soccer team. I actually didn't have time to do it this semester, but I met so many amazing girls and I loved all of my teammates. It was so fun. We all got to travel together and we had practiced three times a week together, so you definitely bond with people by doing club sports or even intramural sports if you don't want to travel or compete against other schools. One of the things that is fairly new to me but has been the most amazing thing ever is being a part of the Pink Campus team. Basically, Victoria's Secret partners with different colleges and universities. They have different positions like photographer, that's me, social media, campus outreach, a freshman liaison, and there's somebody else. We actually just had an on-campus cleanup event that was super fun. You can definitely meet tons of people by doing that. I totally recommend to anybody that's interested in being a part of the team to apply because it has been my favorite part of SJSU so far, hands down. Even if you don't wanna join the team, we do on-campus events and in-store events that you can come to and meet people that way. I definitely just recommend joining anything you're interested in. Like there are so many clubs at SJSU and I'm sure that if you're interested in one or two things, you should join those clubs. Something else that I wanna mention is there is tons of opportunity for on-campus jobs. So if you're worried about needing to make some money while you're here, there are so many opportunities. You can work in the bookstore, you can work as a receptionist at different buildings. There's tons of internship opportunities. You can work at the SRAC. There are tons of things. You just have to go out and look for them. Now, moving on to another topic, which is academics. Academics is my personal favorite part of SJSU. And I never thought I'd say that because I have never been the girl to love school and love schoolwork. But ever since I found my major, I can confidently say that my classes are my favorite part of going here, which is important because you want to love what you're studying. I mean, that's literally why we're in college. I take classes where each week we do a different assignment in the Adobe software, or we're constantly analyzing commercials or marketing or social media. And it's so relevant and it's so interesting to me that it makes my studies a lot more fun. 
I have not had a bad professor so far. I cannot stress this enough. You have to look at Rate My Professor. It is the easiest way to pick the best instructors. It will save your life. Also, just wanted to mention that as an incoming freshman, I was a communications major and I switched to advertising and I added a minor. So I just am here to tell you that changing your major is so simple. Don't stress if you don't think you're in the right major now and you're worried about that and you think you might want to change later on. Don't stress about that part because I've gone through that and it's literally like signing a paper. Also, kind of related to academics, but since San Jose State is in the Silicon Valley, we are partnered with so many different big companies and there are so many opportunities for postgrads. That is definitely a big pro to keep in mind. The last part that I will touch on is the campus itself. So SJSU is an open campus. Anybody that is living in the city of San Jose can walk through this school at any time. And San Jose is not the nicest area. If you're a woman, you probably will never want to walk around at night. If you're any student, you should probably have pepper spray on you. It is something you kind of get used to and it's not really something that hinders you a lot. This year has been very different so far especially living on campus, like I wouldn't be nervous to go walk to the dining hall at like once it's dark, as long as I'm with my friends, cause people are still out. I would say that is the biggest con uh, that I would have liked to know is that it is very dangerous. You will definitely get alerts telling you to avoid certain areas of campus on any given day. But yeah, a pro would definitely be the walkability and the campus itself. This entire campus is like one big rectangle. My building is on practically the edge of campus and to walk to the other side of campus, which I actually did this morning to get my fills, that took maybe 10 minutes, like not rushing, just a slow walk. If I'm running late to class and it's almost to the other side of campus, it'll usually take me like six or seven minutes if I'm speed walking. That is a huge plus. Everything is very close together and you never feel like it's like a real chore to go from one class to another. A few other things I just want to mention about the campus is the amazing student recreational center that we have. It is brand new. I think it had just finished being built when I had committed to SJSU. It has amazing facilities. You can use the weight room, there's basketball courts, volleyball courts, a huge pool, tons of space to lay out in the sun. That is an amazing facility on campus. We also have tons of lawn space. Tower Lawn is huge and gorgeous just grassy area where tons of people lay out they bring hammocks or they play spike ball or they just lay out and do homework the library is another thing it is shared with the public and there are different levels for different levels of noise that you can make so like the higher up you go the quieter it gets i think that is all that I have written down in my different points to touch on. One of my favorite things about doing YouTube is that I can just give all of the information that I have to people that are looking for it because I know for me as an only child, I didn't have siblings to look up to so I would always turn to YouTube so that I could find older girls to relate to online that could teach me all the things that I needed to know. So whether it's college or just regular life stuff, I want to do that for other people because that was a huge part of my life growing up. So that is all the tips and things that I'd wish that I'd known before coming to SJSU. I hope that this recap and these tips and things were helpful. Hopefully I reached some people who may be considering coming here. If you are considering SJSU or you've committed or you're an incoming freshman, leave a comment down below. I would love to know. And yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and stick around for the next one.